Do you think men should take dating advice from women? I think it really depends in that situation. That I think that if you're, I'm in a successful relationship, my boyfriend isn't a fucking simp, but at the same time, he knows when to be. He was an absolute ass. So I think it really depends on like if that person has a life that you actually like, the relationship that you emulate, sure. Because you're, you need perspective on what a, an actual chick wants. It can't be just guys echoing in a room saying, fuck bitches, bitches ain't shit. Like, how far are you going to get with that? You know, eventually, I don't, I don't really care. If you sit in, a, in the echo chamber long enough, you're just going to be building up a wall against women. And that's fine. But at the end of the day, if it wasn't for a lot of these guys who have clout for their Instagrams or their shows that they have, how else do you plan on getting pussy if you're always saying they aren't shit? You're going to have to fuck somebody eventually. Yeah. So, So pretty much like... Well, I guess, you know, the original question really was like, do you think men should really take dating advice from women? So what do you think, um, where do you, th what's some viable, like an actual example of where he really should take it and then where he should kind of like be very weary as to like not fall into that? Because I think like you were saying, like, uh, just, just, to, just to clarify the point where you were saying a guy can fall into an echo chamber and kind of just like put up a wall against a woman. I think mm -hmm. if you were to just take dating advice from a woman also um like he'll just become like a like a feminized of like course. a masculine feminine and again woman, it depends kinda. on what type of female you're talking about because like for me i the real reason why i'm able to be successful when i was with tiktok and all the others when i was in it truly i've chose to step back and I, I don't really care to be in the space just because i can see how crazy it can be but i've definitely noticed that the reason why i was able to shoot up so fast i went from like a thousand to sixty thousand a month why because i don't pander off to one specific gender if you're wrong you're wrong there is no bias view from my standpoint mm -hmm. i can understand how much a guy thinks to the core i can understand how much a crazy chick thinks to the core i mean at the gun I'm, I'm catering to people that's my age and younger and even people that are a couple years older than me i'm not going into anyone that's late in their 40s and 50s because i obviously haven't been there haven't done that but nonetheless like i would say it's quite universal in how we deal with each other. We just don't see that because our feelings and everything are so subjective in our world. Yeah, and, and, that, and that's the thing. It's hard. It's hard to uh, get real advice when things are very subjective. You got to be very kind of like objective about it. You got to lay down those foundations, and I think that's like where Red Pill really does. And my my biggest thing with like women that kind of like help other guys, like give them a dating advice. It's I think it's really like hard for a woman to give dating advice because she's never been in a man's shoes herself. And advice really comes from like a person who you want to emulate and you want to be like. And for the most part, men who want dating advice don't really they don't want to become a woman. They want to become the man that like essentially is building that relationship or is in that relationship. So, yeah, I, I mean, that that's like my like little like pushback. on. No, like, I, get it. I get what you're saying, but I would say that there's a balance in everything. It's, mm -hmm. it's so extreme to that degree that you can you can do what you want. Like men, men can be tall, they can make a lot of money. You can get all the attributes to get a chick, but you're never gonna actually like emotionally connect with that person. And that's one thing I think the red pill space is missing. There's a reason why Andrew Tate kept his life very private, discreet, because that's something you can't even teach to some folks. Some people just don't have it. So people just have just enough to just get the chick, make a living, and then just pretty much run her world and I just don't think that's healthy. I like the way that the other Red Pill guys are running it. Like, cool, if you want to be with a chick who's just a dumb bimbo girl who basically just sucks your dick and you tell her how to eat, sleep. Most people that I deal with, most of my clients that are literally, their, their network is like millions. They don't, they don't, after a while of exposing yourself to that, you get tired of talking to a bimbo. You're like, damn, the chicks that are in the 30s are too fucking dumb. Uh, and too broken, they're too callous. And then the chicks that are in their, you know, their early 20s, they're easier to deal with, but at the same time, you can't even have a mental stimulating conversation. So there is no in between the middle. So how do you, how are you going to get that ever by so, just being in the red pill space? So um, that, that's very important what you said. You're, you're very right because what I what I, to give myself pushback and 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 you know to where you towards towards your um, like towards agreeing with you is that you know a woman can say the right thing. She can essentially give the guy the right uh, like suggestions. Like she can essentially say like, hey, like don't do this. Don't be so needy. Don't like text her all around. And I, I think that's good that a woman is, is able to do that and able to give give that kind of like suggestion. But when you really start to peel back the layers, and this is what I think is very important with like any influencer, anybody that's trying to make essentially kind of money, right? Is when you look at the intention and you start to peel back the layers, you start to reverse engineer. A lot of the times a woman, she'll get tripped up like on when the guy's like, okay, okay, I don't text her. So now what do I do? Like, and then why am I doing this? And then she'll kind of trip up because she's never really been in that man's shoes. 
I think in the red pill space, as you grow, you have, it's only going to be the people who grow is the same people that grow like in anything in life. Or for example, like mixed martial arts, right? You go in as a white belt, a hundred white belts go in, only two people are going to end up being black belts after years of dedication, hard work and discipline, right? So it's the same thing in the red, in the red pill space. You understand all these problems. Now you have to start not just learning about it, but you have to start applying it to your life. Once you're going to learn through trial, you're going to learn through error. You're going to learn through different systems. You're going to learn through, uh, guys, for example, like you said, Andrew Tate. Yeah. He, 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 he doesn't show a lot of emotion, but he does. He, he really does because he really does say things that like, um, he really has learned from his past mistakes. Like you, like you were saying earlier, he, um, a lot of guys will, are going to get tired of that bimbo of like all those bimbos. And like, I think it's important to go through that phase as a man through all oh, going through like, like these mindless bimbos. Cause one, you know, you can get them one. You've already dealt with them. Every woman, um, you know, whether you're dealing with a girl with the crystals, whether you're dealing with a girl that's like very innocent, whether you're dealing with a girl with a high body count, whether you're dealing with a girl that's very masculine. These are like all the kinds of women I've, I've dealt with in my life. They all shit test you in different ways. And you need to be able to go through those tests to be able to understand what you want in a girl. And then when you get that girl, you're going to be able to hold her down because you're going to, because you're going to be able to, to hold your frame and understand, Hey, this is what I want. This is what I'm looking for. I understand what your purpose is in my life. And what a woman does, how she brings out that emotion in a man is when a man knows what he wants, he's able to tell her like, Hey, do this for this exact reason, or he know he knows kind of how to like, he knows how to kind of joke around with her, but also like be stern. You know what I'm saying? Like he has his boundaries. He, he well, kind of holds that frame. So and, and, I agree with that. Right. I, I'm sorry. I'm sorry. But what I meant. Yes, I agree with.